The Prince of Wales has praised governments for reaching a consensus on emergency funding to tackle tropical deforestation at St James's Palace today. The Prince's Rainforests Project held a meeting of heads of state, senior ministers from 18 countries, business leaders and NGOs from around the world. In October 2007, His Royal Highness established the Prince's Rainforest Project to develop a consensus around how the rate of rainforest destruction might be slowed. Today, after a public awareness campaign centred around the rainforest frog, the project published the consensual findings of an informal working group of 35 countries, set up after a meeting of world leaders convened by the Prince in April. The United States Ambassador, Louis Sussman, read a letter from Senator Patrick Leahy announcing that the United States has allocated a sum of $275 million for tropical forests in 2010. And I think the other undertaking that developed countries must give uh, is to ensure, uh, through public finance and through any private finance that is available, that it recognises the crucial service to the world that the people of the rainforest will be providing as an environmental service. The primary aim of uh, my rainforest project has been to try and catalyse a partnership uh, of governments, the private sector, non-governmental organizations and civil society to bring combined efforts to bear on the problem of deforestation. Now, one of the things the project has set out from the beginning, and this is important, I think, is that rainforest deforestation is not just, as some have said this morning, not just an environmental problem, but a social and economic challenge that is first and foremost a matter of human welfare not only for the indigenous people who rely on uh, the forests for their spiritual and practical welfare and who understand the urgent need to work again in harmony with nature, but also for uh, the rainforest nations which rely upon the forests for their economic development uh, and indeed for the global community which depends at the end of the day on the services provided by rainforests in maintaining food security and climatic stability. Against the odds, it does seem perhaps that we have arrived at a consensus uh, on how emergency funding might be deployed in the near future. I can't help noticing those moments, as, as I think somebody else drew attention to this a moment ago, those moments in history when you ask yourself uh, what would have happened if, uh, or if only, and uh, I, I would contend that we have reached another moment in history when uh, the path we choose is critical. So please, let's not allow it to be seen in future as if only the right decision had been taken at the right time.